as you guys know i had my baby on january 31st so this is going to be our labor and delivery story he's kind of in and out of sleep right now first off thank you guys so much for watching and being a part of our family and going through this journey with us it's been so amazing like so amazing i can't get over I can't get over it and he is so calm guys I cannot I don't know if it's just the first like newborn days and but he is so calm he's a smile I'm just gonna get started and talk to you guys about what happened on the day I had landed if you guys haven't seen my birth vlog I'll link it down below and you guys can go watch that as well it's really special to me Kwa did such an amazing job editing it so go leave a comment and tell Kwa he did amazing because he was awesome. Such an amazing support, so just perfect. And sorry if I'm out of breath still, I'm still healing and recovering. So let's just get into it so you guys know exactly what happened because birth vlog doesn't really tell exactly what happened. So the 31st is was my due date and around, I think it was 2 a.m. I started having contractions. And I started having contractions about every three to four minutes. Um, no, sorry, five to eight minutes. And they weren't really strong or painful or anything. So I was like, oh great, this is just another like whatever. So I laid in bed and I fell asleep. So that's how I knew like, I was like, okay, it's like, it's not real. Cause I could fall asleep. Then around 4 a.m. I woke up from one. Like it was so strong and so painful. It lasted about a minute long. And I was like, oh, okay, that felt like awful. And then I got another one about three minutes later, but it wasn't as painful as that one. So I was like, okay, maybe that was just a fluke. I was just like, okay, something's going on. I don't know what's going on though. So I just was on my phone with the app, just counting my contractions and trying to see if it was the real deal or not. And if I was in labor, I've had a problem with dilating with Jackson and um, that's pretty much what happened here. So I got my, I went to, decided that it was time to go to the hospital around 6 a.m. I wanted to wait and just from 2 to 6, I was just like, okay, should I go? Should I not go? But it was just getting so painful. I had to go, you know, it's just like, I had to go see what was going on. So I went into the hospital about 6 a.m. and they checked my cervix and I was only one centimeter dilated up that they were, I was having constant contractions every two to three minutes and very painful. Like there's this little box on the screen that tells, it's like, uh, tells you when you're contracting and they were like skyrocketing. But very painful, I was definitely in labor, but I was not dilating. And since I did have a previous C-section, they will not give me Pitocin to help me dilate because of the risk of uterine rupture. So they're like, okay, either you can go home, ride through the labor, try and get dilating, you know, uh, walk around the hospital a little. I did sit on a birthing ball for two hours there to try and see if I could dilate. And it just, they checked me again, no change. And my cervix was pretty thick still. So, um, I was like, oh, okay, I like I know if I go home, I'm gonna be right back here because these are so painful. I cannot, I can't, like I can't just be at home feeling like this. That means like it's like, what? I just can't. The doctor came in and she went over what happened with Jackson. So the doctor that delivered Jackson never went over like what happened and like why I had to get a C-section. She kind of just said like he's his heart rate is going down. Like we need to go in you know um it was really really fast so plus i was on a lot of drugs from whatever she was giving me and i was just like okay and so they came in with the past work of what happened with jackson and she's like your pelvis is very narrow when they pulled him out his head was the coniest the, the his head was so coned um cone shaped he was trying to get down through there like he was there he was trying but it just couldn't it couldn't and he got uh, very stressed out in there trying to get out that way and she said in her professional opinion i would have a 20 to 30 percent chance of delivering on my own plus i would have to go through hours and hours maybe even days of labor just to get myself dilated 
I could not stay in the hospital for that long because of Jackson, you know? So she's like, we can admit you, we can watch you, try to get you dilating on your own, but like once you start dilating on your own, we can give you a little help with a little Pitocin, but until then, if there's no cervical change, we cannot do anything, uh, just liability, risks, you know, stuff like that. So, and she's like, I, on my honest opinion, you are very small, you, uh, it will be a lot, it'll be a lot on you. She said like, I 100% think you can do it. Like 100% any woman's body is perfectly capable of doing it, but it will be a lot. It'll be like, it'll be a lot on you. I started to leave so I could talk to Kwa and me and Kwa talked about it and we decided to go with the C-section. I am so glad I did. This C-section was so much better than the last one. So after I had decided to go with the C-section, I stayed in the bed for about an hour um, waiting for a room to open up for me upstairs in um, the C-section, like where you get ready to go get a C-section. Finally, they're like, okay, let's go. We can have a baby. So we went upstairs and I got undressed, peed in front of like 50 people. It's like birth guys is not pretty. Everyone like just, I'm basically butt naked there. They're like wiping me down, uh, getting me ready for C-section, cleaning the area. Um, they did this stuff in my nose so that whenever I'm breathing, it doesn't get on the C-section scar and you know, all the stuff to prepare me for C-section. And it was so much more relaxed than before. Everyone was rushing before because Jackson's heart rate and it was just chaos, chaos. So this one was so much more relaxed. Landon was doing great. I was doing great. I was still in pain. I had no pain medicine at this point still and I was still in labor. So think about me being wheeled around the hospital in labor, in pain, and people like picking me up, putting me down, wiping me everywhere, um, asking me questions. I had to pause. I, like every time I had a contraction, I could not answer anyone's question. I was just like, stop talking to me, don't touch me, like where's my freaking epidural so that we can get this started because you do get an epidural whenever you get a c-section so that they numb you and you can stay awake. Uh, a lot of people didn't understand why I, why I was still getting an epidural but that's why. I was just in a lot of pain but once I got the epidural, oh my gosh, I was so happy. You can tell in the birth vlog, you just see me like, I love you Koa, like I was just the happiest person on earth. Like I love you to my nurses and my doctors and I was like thank you so much. <laughs> After that we kind of sat there a while and they kept, uh, they were pinching my stomach and testing me like do, do you feel this here, do you feel more numb on the right side than the left, can you pick up your feet, can you move your toes, you know like just checking. Once I was completely numb they're like we're ready to go, let's go into labor and delivery. What's awesome awesome is I had the same anesthesiologist as I did with Jackson and then the anesthesiologist like assistant I think is what she is remembered was the one who was like I think I know you guys and she's like do you, does your family own a restaurant and she's like weren't you didn't you just have a baby like a year ago like something like that I remember you guys and she's and I was like yes I thought you looked familiar we had like this whole in-depth conversation the last time with Jackson while I was recovering uh, about like all like all our issues like my problems basically I was just like laying them all out to her like with with everything that happened that year it was crazy because you know we we got kicked out we we barely had any money you know we didn't I didn't have a job I didn't have anything uh, Kwa had a job but he wasn't we weren't making enough money you know it was just I was kind of just stressed about everything and I kind of just looked crying to her about it. I'm pretty sure that's why she remembered me. And she's like, well, I'll see you next year when we have your third baby. And I was like, no, 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 I'm waiting like at least three years for the next one. But anyway, so they rolled me back and they set me up and Kwa has to wait outside until the sheet is up and everything. And when Kwa comes in, I just, oh, thank God, like he's here. And I remember telling Kwa, like, just remind me to relax my shoulders because I'm just, like, tensed up, like, you know, you're about to get cut open, like, anyone would be tensed up like that, so then they, they cut me open and they brought Landon up into the world and he was so cute and all slimy and Kwa went around and saw him and everything and it was beautiful and I cried and Kwa cried and we cried together and we just, it was a good, good experience this time. 
I knew what to expect. I knew everything. I didn't want to be drowsy, so I didn't let them give me anything except the epidural. I don't know what my, my doctor gave me before, but it just like messed me up. After that, everything went so good. We went back to the room and I breastfed, had skin to skin. Everything was amazing and everything went really well. I uh, held Landon for the longest time while I slept and then they cleared me to go up into the hospital room. Once they said we're going up into a room, I called my mom, I called my family, I was like, you guys can come now, like, go ahead, because with Jackson, we were, we, no one was allowed to see Jackson for the first 24 hours. I spiked a fever, Jackson spiked a fever, it was just, it was bad, it was just a bad experience, but this, this c-section was amazing and I would definitely, definitely do another c-section. So we went up into our room and we just, we hung out with, with them. It was kind of, it, the, the second day was rough though because my epidural came out and I was leaking the fluid everywhere so I wasn't getting any pain medicine and I didn't even notice, you know, like I was just like, oh god, I'm in pain, like this sucks and she's like, make sure you're pressing the button. I was like, I am pressing this damn button like every 20 seconds, you know. Um, and then she's like, all right, let me check you and it had come out. So then they just took it out and they started giving me regular pills and they took the catheter out and I, I took a walk around the, took a walk around the, um, little room there and started feeling better and then we got discharged and I went home and that's basically it and now we're home and we have two boys and it was an amazing experience and I would definitely do another c-section if one for my next baby you guys probably like I can't see his face this is little Landon he is so adorable yeah He's the calmest baby in the world. But I'm gonna do another video on him and his personality the first week home. So I can't wait for you guys to see that and, and everything. Jackson's been really great with him. So definitely go subscribe to our daily vlogging channel if you haven't already to see them hanging out. Hanging out and loving each other. But that's basically it for this video. I had an amazing experience, you know, I've seen a lot of uh, labor and delivery stories and it's just like horror story after horror story. It's, it was great. It was amazing, you know, and he's doing really, really well with breastfeeding. We've been cluster feeding a lot and I think that helps. That's basically it. He's so precious. I cannot get over it. And he smells so good. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up and share. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Oh, that was sweet. Say bye-bye.